Father McGivney was a parish priest who died before reaching the age of 40. He began his signature accomplishment of founding the Knights of Columbus when he was still in his 20s. His desire to keep men Catholic guided his founding of the Knights of Columbus. He was above all a testament to the power of spiritual brotherhood and charity. Father McGivney's father and his mother were both immigrants from Ireland. Catholics in general, Irish Catholics in particular, were discriminated against in many facets of life. Even though Father McGivney's family was very poor, their faith was very strong. And I think that's where Father McGivney felt the first stirrings of a vocation. It's also the beginnings of a lifelong devotion to building up the family. On December 22, 1877, Michael McGivney is ordained in Baltimore and is appointed curate of St. Mary's Church in New Haven, Connecticut. Father McGivney sets about making St. Mary's Church a center of Catholic life. He gathers the men in the parish for baseball games, and he makes the church the center of community life for families. Father McGivney's ministry focuses on the centrality of faith for his parishioners by living out the two great commandments, love of God and love of neighbor. Now these were not abstract commands for Father McGivney. They had to be put into practice. Everything Father McGivney did was aimed at strengthening the Catholic faith of his parishioners. Father McGivney understands uniquely the plight of Catholic immigrants. When a breadwinner dies, the consequences are catastrophic. Bankruptcy, poverty, and families torn apart. In the fall of 1881, Father McGivney gathers two dozen men for a meeting in the basement of St. Mary's. He shares with them his vision of a Catholic fraternal group bound by the spiritual principles of charity and unity and named for Columbus, the most celebrated Catholic figure at the time, and one whose name would help make the case that Catholics could be good American citizens as well. The Knights of Columbus is born. Charity, unity, and fraternity were principles that flowed from Father McGivney's life, and he was able to not only communicate them to those early Knights of Columbus, but to inculcate them in their lives and in their spirituality. Father McGivney saw the Knights as responding to threats to the faith of Catholics, as well as the means to protect their families spiritually and materially. Keeping families together after the death of a breadwinner had a practical and a charitable aspect, but it also meant that family members would not be put into a non-Catholic or even an anti-Catholic environment. Keeping the Catholic family together often meant keeping the Catholic family Catholic. Father McGivney saw the Knights of Columbus as a community of brothers who were concerned for one another and who would be there to offer each other a helping hand. In 1890, now serving as a priest in Thomaston, Connecticut, Father McGivney becomes ill during the pandemic of 1889 and 1890. The virus causes a serious case of pneumonia. Father Michael McGivney then dies on August 14, 1890, two days past his 38th birthday. Father McGivney is in so many ways the perfect model of what a parish priest and who a parish priest should be. He was a man of deep prayer, um, but he was not a man who, you might say, hid behind the altar. He was constantly out among the people, and he loved to be with them. When Pope Francis tells priests to bring the gospel to the margins of society, I think of Father McGivney, his support for widows and orphans, and his concern for the poor and the suffering. What Father McGivney did in quietly living a life of charity and unity has had an indelible effect on Catholicism in America and around the world.